it's going to be Gibson who drives a decent effort and Maxwell pushes it round the post and that early pressure nearly led to a goal there Yes, I mean, uh, Chris Maxwell saw it all the way, but it bounced just before his dive, and he was going down to collect it. And in the end, it sort of came off his off his chest and out for the corner, which Gibson floats uh, pretty much like a Ferguson cross. Gets to the back post, it's bouncing all around until Pogba puts boot through ball and actually finds Andy Mangan in the centre circle. We break quickly down the left-hand side. Harris plays Mangan through on the left chance for a shot tries to pass it in and it's in we've scored what a what a wonderful breakaway goal there I mean it I mean I'll I'll ask you to describe it again but that was almost passed in to the keeper almost like a back pass the keeper goes down it seems to hit his knee go over his knee and in nestles in the back right hand corner we haven't been in this game at all in the first seven minutes and we've taken the lead well, last season Wrexham lost here when 1-0 from a goal when Wrexham had a corner and were broken on and Crawley scored and now the opposite's happened but awful keeping from Kuipers. Mangan cutting in from the left channel, hit the shot straight at him really and Kuipers, well, he, he dived down low to his left anticipating uh, a, a shot into the corner. Mangan didn't get hold of it and it just hit Kuipers' feet, wrecked up in the air and went in. Free kick plays to the edge of Exxon's area, Sinclair beaten in the air and it's helped on dangerously towards the six yard box and smacked over by Tubbs. Tubbs has started to stand in front of him to obstruct his kicks, but Maxwell's got good distance on that. Dempster under pressure, Chester across the face of his box. He's lucky McFadden got there and he's given it straight to Morrell. Edge of the area on the left hand side, rolls it to the edge of the box, Mangan drives it, goal Kuipers saves it and it's scrambled away. Another messy save by Kuipers. It's pretty much a helter skelter type of match. Uh, we're doing very well with our quick breaks as. Uh, Curtis, long throw down the right flank. Pogba comes away with it again. Plays Andy Mangan through. He's onside. He's through onto the keeper. Coming at an angle. Passes it. It's 2-0! 2-0! This is phenomenal stuff. We are just playing so well at the moment. And once again, it was Matthias Pogba creating all sorts of problems down that right-hand side. I said it was one and one on the keeper, but it's fair to say that Andy Mangan had an awful lot to do then because he was coming at the angle of the six-yard box. He didn't blast it. He waited for the keeper to commit himself, and he just passed it into the bottom of the net. I have never heard a crowd so quiet. It's like a morgue here now. Seems so far back. Uh, ancient history. Pogba climbs and wins a throw-in. Ref gives it to Crawley, naturally. And Blackburn still asking for permission to come back on. The ref's not allowing him to, yes. And he seems to have forgotten Blackburn's there. The ball's in the centre circle. Blackburn's asking for permission to come on. The ref has turned his back on him. Blackburn is desperate to come back on, but Wrexham down to 10 men as the cross is blocked. The ball is now on the halfway on the far side of the pitch from Blackburn, and still he's not allowed back on. And Wrexham have been down to 10 men just due to the stupidity of the official. Wrexham are furious. Finally, he remembers that Blackburn comes on and intercepts. That's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic refereeing. Mangan breaks down the left. What this joker's doing, I don't know. Mangan feeds to the edge of the area now. Pogba back to go. Rex could benefit from his stupidity. Pogba hits the shot, deflected, and Kuipers saves it low to his left. Incredible stupidity from the ref. Going to put Rexham three up. Oh, it's headed clear, but Crichton blasts it back over the top. Dempster in the air against Pogba. It's headed square. Mangan's after that edge of the area, and he gets there first and squeezes into Morrell. It's a first time shot, and the keeper leaves it low to his right. Oh, Rainer. Screaming at McFagson to get forwards because now they've got Hunt on. As I said in the first half, he's the man with a long throw. Pogba's realised both centre backs are going into the box and he's raced back to pick up. So Hunt, long throw, flat throw to the near post, flicked on by McFadden. Tubbs, easy chance, puts it in! And Tubbs pulls Corley back into the match. Throw to the near post, flicked on. And Tubbs, six yards out, had acres of space and drove it across Maxwell, who had no chance, and into the net. Off, it's thrown in towards Pogba, who jumps and flicks it towards goal, sits down the post, that was a good effort by Pogba, who's got his head in his hands. There's a lot of movements at the near post, lots of players leaving there, both Pogba's been pulled around, free easy chance for Sinclair, hits it against Morrell, standing in the goal mouth, if Sinclair got a proper touch on that, it would have been a goal. Players break in now as Keats curls it in, Sinclair heads it over, not that far over, but it was always going to clear the bar. He's got a three-man wall and a real crowd in front of him. Gibson steps up, drives it into the goal, across the face of goal, and it goes just wide to the far post, desperately close.
McAllister now breaking forwards over the halfway line. Feeds it forwards. Andrews has lost it. And now it's Tubbs on the back of the fence. Left-hand side. Swings the ball in. Crucial header by Ashton. Tubbs will pick up the loose ball on the flank once more. Feeds it backwards. Hunt might try a shot. Wrexham backing off. He drives it wide. That was a good contact by him. Wrexham still 2-1 up. These 10 minutes in the last eternity as this rolled down the line. McAllister back to goal. 25 yards out. Squares it in. Hunt running at night. Percival. He's fed it towards the edge of the area and it's attacked by Wrexham, but it's not one and Tubbs is after it and Maxwell goes down at his feet and it's hit their post, it's in! And Tubbs has equalised! Wrexham caught out! They've lost that two-goal lead! Tubbs of his second, it was a good stretch by him and he toe-poked it in off the right post. Wrexham frustrated by that, but it was good build-up play by Crawley and in all honesty, really, I think you could see that it was coming, couldn't you, Bob? Yes, I mean, they've gradually been building the pressure on. We haven't made the most of the chances which we've had. But in many respects, where the pressure has come from is where Chris Blackburn had been playing and where we've had Nat Nice, Nat Nice, Knight Percival playing. And consequently, they've, been managed, uh, they've managed to build and build this pressure up. We've defended deeper and deeper and deeper. And in the end, we have, we have cracked and we've thrown away this two-goal lead. Back Fadgen's there, smacks it down the line, McAllister shows for it and brings it down well, 25 yards out, rolls to the edge of the area, gets a good return ball, he tries a shot here, he feeds it in the box, it's miscontrolled by Tubbs, ricochets back to McAllister, right side of the box, stands it up to the far post, and Clare's underneath it, heads it away, referee's given a penalty! There was a collision off the ball, Sinclair is bucked, and Crawley have got a penalty, Sinclair's off! Is it? Well, he's, given, he's shown a red card, Sinclair hasn't been booked as far as I'm aware, but he showed a yellow, then a red. And I think Sinclair's arguing he hasn't been booked, but he showed a yellow, then a red. Incredible. And let's see who's walking off the pitch then. It's Harris he's walking off. So Harris is off. And how this game has turned around. A penalty. Tubbs will take it for his hat trick. And Harris trudges off the side of the pitch, disconsolate. He'll be missing on Tuesday, but more importantly, Tubbs now can turn this game on its head with a second half hat trick. Maxwell goes back on his line. Tubbs waits for him to be ready. And Maxwell adjusts his gloves. Referee making sure everyone's outside the box. Tubbs hands on hips. That's taking a long time over it. Maxwell bounces him down, whistle goes, Tubbs steps up and scores! Great penalty right in the bottom left corner. And, well, an incredible turnaround. Wrexham now down to 10 men and 3-2 down. An amazing turnaround. But a controversial penalty award for an off-the-ball incident. And I did say, Paul, that this referee could, could make a difference to how this game turns out. He certainly has. Oh, uh, yes, I mean... Certainly, sort of two Wrexham players, two Crawley players went down as the ball went straight across the uh, the box. Um, couldn't couldn't really see what was happening from here, but we haven't controlled this half.